waving. Welcome Hi, elephant. Yeah. Is he waving at us? Yeah, that's good luck, by the way. Oh, yeah? When you see it lifting its trunk, that's good luck. Yeah? yeah. Is that a boy or a, a female? That's our matron. Oh, okay. That's the boss lady. Yep. She's the boss lady. Yeah. Alright, so my name is Poppy and I'm from South Africa. And my name is Peggy and I'm from Botswana. Okay. Does anyone know where those two countries are? I have no idea. Okay, so South Africa <laughs> will be right at the bottom, uh, right at the tip, and Botswana comes just after South Africa. We are connected uh, with the border, right? North of South Africa. Uh, and I'm just going to continue talking about this amazing species. And did you guys know that elephants are also known as the keystone species? Well, elephants are really important out in the wild because they influence the composition of the ecosystem. So with elephants out in the wild, they are known as the bulldozers of the ecosystem because if they are moving around, they break down trees and they leave it open for grasses to grow. So that makes more food for the trees. And if you look at the Great fertilizer. You know why? Because in their poop, well, it's really out in the wild. The seeds. The seeds. So yeah. they eat seeds, and then once they disperse those seeds, they're gonna germinate and grow. So one last thing is that elephants have their ability to protect when there's underground water, especially during the drought season. You find that there are more of water, where other animals get away from them. And I mean, they are big animals, so as they are moving around, they feel those vibrations from underneath. Because of their task. So, you know, people poach for different reasons. Back in the days, people would go out and hunt just to feed their families. But right now, people are doing it every day. One thousand people are doing it for 20,000 in the black market. 20,000 dollars. Wow. That's how many. Just one, two, three. Okay. And another thing is the block. You know, back in the late 1800s, we had about 10 million elephants roaming around Africa. And Africa has about 54 countries. Right now, we only have uh, less than 700,000 in the South Saharan Africa. I'm looking at Vicky reaching. Oh, oh man. <laughs> wow. She's, like... oh. <laughs> She's our horticulture. <laughs>
So in the southern part of Kenya, they also had the same problem of elephants coming to their farms and eating everything that they worked for for so many months. Imagine having months and months of work and overnight when you are so ready to harvest, overnight everything is gone due to elephants eating everything. And these guys are very big. So once they go to your farm, they're going to destroy everything. Right? So they wanted a natural way of solving this problem. So they called out two researchers out in Kenya. Um, the researchers work for an organization called the Save the Elephant Organization in Kenya. And there's a lady specifically called Miss Lucy Clinton, who's the head researcher there. So what she did is she had of our scientists here at Disney. His name is Dr. Joseph Fontes. So he studied the vocalization of elephants that we have here at Animal Kingdom. So what he did is he went to Kenya and helped with the problem. But when he got there, they asked the locals on how these animals behave when they're not reading their crops. And what he found out is that elephants do not like hanging around trees with beans. For Dr. Joseph, that was very interesting because he wanted to prove if elephants are really scared of them. So what he did is he took his speakers, he put them everywhere in the savannah where elephants are found, and he played the bee sounds. That was enough for him. So what he did is he played the bee sounds and the elephants will shake its head, flip the ears, and they'll run away. From the, just the buzzing sound, right? But that wasn't enough for Dr. Joseph. You know what he did next? What he did is he studied the vocalization, how they talk on that kind of situation. So he found out that as they're running, they actually have a rumble that we cannot hear. But that rumble can travel as far as five miles to tell other elephants that guys, we are under attack. Let's go. Run. Everybody just run. And that was good because now the farmers in Kenya started building their fences using beehive boxes. So if you look at this picture here, this is just a typical farmer's farm. So whereby the, um, the boxes are connected with wires so that when the elephants come and shake the wire, the box is going to shake and the bees are going to get annoyed and come up. So elephants don't want anything coming in their faces and well. So they'll just run away. They managed to tell other elephants that guys, not this way, we have something inside, so let's take it So this is very successful because 8 out of 10 times, when the elephants try to break the crops, they fail. So it's a very um, successful um, project. So now, due to our research, you're finding out that elephants are scared of bees. Now people in Kenya are getting money. So they sell this for extra income and they're making a lot of money. Right? So have you guys heard of the Disney Conservation Fund? So with the Disney Conservation Fund, projects like um, Elephant and Bees are funded by the Disney Conservation Fund so that more farmers around Kenya can learn how to harvest honey, how to package honey, and how to make other products out of honey. So there's a, a, a lip balm. Oh, that bottle. So if you look at this bottle here, it's written Elephant and Beast Project and Save the Elephant um, um, Organization. So what they're doing is they call this honey the Elephant Friendly Honey and it comes from different flowers and they already know the sofa blossom and something real cool that this is doing, they're trying to train as many farmers as possible to learn how to package their own product. So with this, you can see that every fence or every family that has a fence around here and it has uh, um, a piece, all the packaging that they do, they put their names underneath the name to show that, okay, this honey is from this certain family. And if you like it, come back to my farm and come by. So I'll pass it around so you can see it. And now they're learning how to make something really cool again. Lip balm. Elephant friendly lip balm. I know the ladies will love this. <laughs> so it's just made from new wax and you know the farmers are selling it for extra income as well. right. So something real cool again that we want to share with you guys is that for you guys just being on this program caring for giants, you guys are actually participating in caring for the elephant, elephants out in the wild. You know why? Because this is the best project where 100% of the proceeds you get goes directly to save the animals out in the wild. So you guys are conservation heroes. We want to say thank you by giving you this beautiful Oh, cool. So, do you guys have any questions about anything? Do you have any questions? I know I've been talking a lot, but. Okay, so let's go look for some elephants. Thank you. So, do you guys have any questions about.
we're gonna come back because we have to exit through here but for now just